So today Google finally announced a proper tablet edition of the Google Plus app uh, that's available now for Android tablets. It'll be coming soon to the iPhone. And so we're just going to take a quick look at it and see what it looks like. Uh, what we were used to seeing when we use Google Plus on a tablet device uh, is the blown up phone version, which was a pretty awful experience as pretty much any uh, Google Plus tablet, Google Plus user that owns a tablet would tell you. Uh, but now the new version of the app has been completely redesigned to work on tablets. It takes advantage of the larger size display, as you see here. Uh, one of the biggest things that you'll notice different between the old phone version and the current tablet version and also the current phone version, which is also updated, uh, is the new light-colored UI. Uh, gone is the uh, old dark UI theme. Uh, and it's been revamped with lighter colors. And it pretty much just kind of, in my opinion, at least looks a bit cleaner than before. Uh, the big difference between the tablet version of the app and the phone version is the tablet version features a side-scrolling uh, feed here. So as opposed to the phone version where you're used to scrolling up and down, the tablet version goes side to side, which works pretty well for a tablet screen. As you can see, the posts uh, come in uh, as they load in. They kind of got this animation here. Uh, a lot of Google Plus news today, as you can see, but... Pretty slick, pretty cool. This isn't the most uh, powerful Android tablet. This uh, particular tablet doesn't have a quad-core processor uh, like the latest do, but it still performs pretty well on it. A little bit of lag, but not terribly much. Uh, over here, we've got access to your home profile, My Photos. This is the new Events function in Google+, Plus that was also announced today. Uh, that, so Google+, Plus has an Events category now. You can access your Hangouts, your Messenger, your Circles. And then over here is the new access to notifications, which is a lot easier and faster than before. And you can just tap one of those and it shows you the post uh, that the notification relates to. And as you see, it pops up in a nice little uh, animation there, which is pretty slick. You can, of course, compose a new post. You can, instead of uh, calling it compose, they call it share. So it's share in thought, share photos, or share your location. You've got a couple different uh, options here under the menu. You've got search posts, send feedback, settings, help, and sign out. So settings, you can manage your notifications. You can enable disable messenger and hangouts. Uh, enable instant upload if you want. Uh, and then your contact syncing. Uh, overall, it's pretty slick. It's definitely a much better experience than what we were used to before using the stretched out phone app. So uh, that's definitely good to see. Uh, you do have access to all of your circles, of course. You get a quick peek of what I call my circles there. And you can quickly plus one uh, posts, and you can add comments quickly and easily. It will just load up here for me. There we go. Uh, you can add a comment there. You can share a post or refresh it like so. So everything that you expect to find on Google Plus uh, is here in the tablet version, which is nice to see. You can download this now from the Google Play Store for Android tablets, uh, I believe running Android 3.x Honeycomb or higher, or so Android 4.0 as well. It's going to be coming to the iTunes App Store for the iPad in the near future. Uh, hopefully it won't be too long, but Google did not exactly say a release date for that. So for now, that's a quick look at the new Google Plus tablet app for Android tablets. This is Dan Seifert with MobileBurn.com. Thanks for watching.